been an extraordinary experience. I have to say it's one of the best uh, film experiences that I've had, and I've had some great ones. Taranaki's days as the host of Hollywood's biggest name are now over. So now it seems everybody wants to share their Tom Cruise experience. Never mind the pleasant trees with a handshake, no. He goes, goes the whole hog and gives you the hug. Straight in. Yeah, yeah. Really nice guy. Bex Ali made it to the holy grail of celebrity experiences, his trailer. I love you. You? Complete me. Sparkly eyes. Very twinkly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It'll melt, melt you. Oh, so Regardless you of whether you're male or female, you know, you just can't help resisting it. Many simply met Tom by accident. Yeah, well, he um, just wanted to know about shortboards because he had a longboard. And, um, yeah, he just came up and asked me about them and he seemed interested. But then it's this woman who went that little bit further to get some star attention. I was having morning tea with my girls one morning and every morning I'd say, Morning, Tom, as the chopper flew above us here. And um, I said one day, oh, blow this, he's not going to see me doing that. So I just lifted my top and showed my bra. Just take those old records off, yeah. Woman all over Taranaki doing the Naki wave. A girl's school, apparently they all line up and as the chopper goes over. And another woman I knew of did a um, streak across her farm paddock. <laughs> If it's true what they say, and Taranaki is indeed the Hollywood of New Zealand, then our Akura here would best be class, Beverly Hills. It's got million dollar beaches and half a million dollar homes. And of course, Tom lives there and shops there too. How did you feel inside? Were you a bit bubbly or did you play it cool? Um, I kind of just played, tried to play it cool. I was probably like really embarrassed and red and stuttering, but otherwise, no, I tried to play it cool. The local mayor is positively gushing. He's predicting if, like me, you miss Tom, you may see him back here again in the future. You're going to miss Tom. Yeah, we're going to miss him. But um, he'll be back. Um, looking forward to the premiere in January. Um, and that'll be another chance. And I'm hoping there'll be another film announced prior to that too. So, you know, it's exciting times in Taranaki. Tom spent his last hour on the phone to his favourite radio station, thanking them for a photo opportunity Taranaki style. I'm not letting go of that. <laughs> I'm not letting go of that. That's going up in my office in L.A. Really? You oh, mean yeah. that? Oh, are you kidding? That was that was very moving there, and, there, and lovely. There's there's probably about twelve or thirteen hundred people that were involved with that. That's that are listening. Wonderful. That are listening. Well, to thank the... you all for for doing that. Yeah. And everyone out there who who did that. That was really, you know, I, I was blown away by it. But his final farewell was saved for those mothers of the nation, the Air New Zealand cabin crew. So what was he like up close and personal? Well, it had a shave. Nice clean hair. Nice clean hair. Yeah. So you women notice that sort of thing, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, we do. She's waiting for me. Bye, Tom, and don't forget the Naki way. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye.